To meet little Holden Anthony Gauthier is to love him. You can't help it. He's bright, energetic, happy, friendly. A little boy who easily wins your heart. Holden is three years old now, but when he was an infant, something happened to him that changed the course of his life. At the age of just five weeks, his mother, Catherine Nadal, a habitual drug user, sliced off his genitals. Nadal claimed the family's dog did it. We, the jury, find the defendant, Catherine Michelle Nadal, guilty. The jury gave her 99 years. In the process of removing his genitals, Holden's birth mother severed his left femoral vein and punctured his left femoral artery. This caused massive blood loss. Holden was in life-saving surgery that day for more than six hours. In the next few days, Holden was back in surgery twice in an attempt to save his left leg. His limb was saved, but the surgical scars have caused a lack of mobility in his left leg. And his left leg is now shorter than his right due to the lack of blood flow after his injury. Holden's young life has been filled with surgeries and medical procedures to allow him to do simple things most of us take for granted. And there are a lot more to come. Holden's aunt, Patches DeShazo, and her husband, Kent, are raising their young nephew. And they've taken on the responsibility of making a life for him, a life that's as near to normal as possible. He's going to need um, ongoing physical therapy, which we are currently participating in on a weekly basis, and are probably going to move to twice weekly um, in the very near future. He is going to need um, probably multiple surgeries on his leg, which was damaged due to the injury. Um, he is going to need, obviously, major reconstructive surgery in the genital area, um, and that will serve both a physiological um, need as well as we believe will help him to um, possibly have or hopefully have uh, a very stable and healthy emotional um, development. He'll have to have, starting at about 12 or 13 puberty age, he'll start hormone therapy, which will be a lifelong ongoing um, therapy that he'll have to have you know, for the duration of his life. Um, psychological, um, he'll, he'll definitely need psychological support, particularly when he's hitting developmental milestones, as well as major surgeries and um, as things you know, arise that we haven't even been able to anticipate yet. The one that we have found that we believe is the best possible place for Holden to have his surgery is located in Virginia. Um, it was on the recommendation of our urological surgeon um, and it is not a Medicaid facility. They, they do not uh, work with Medicaid either in the state of Virginia and certainly not with um, Medicaid from other states. So. Texas Medicaid would not cover procedures done at that facility. It's estimated that the cost of all these needs will run upward of a half million dollars. That's a staggering amount. But money isn't the family's biggest concern. Holden's happiness is. He's very, very lucky that we're, we're lucky too. And we're so blessed um, just to have him here, to have him with us. And uh, we just know that this is the easy part and the hard Hard days are still many and still to come. Still, care and treatment cost money, and family and friends are coming up with ways to make sure Holden gets what he needs to live the happiest life possible. Holden's great aunt and uncle, Cindy and CO, Shaq Ballet, are very close to Holden. It's obvious he's the apple of their eyes. Just to see the special kid he is, I mean, he's so smart. And you never met a stranger. I mean, just such a great little person. And he'll, he'll steal your heart. I mean, he stole mine. And, uh, you know, we just, we started talking about what we could do for him. And uh, Patch and my wife have been to several doctors and, you know, there is, there is things that could be done, can be done. And, uh, but it's gonna take a lot of money to do it. And uh, that's what we're trying to do is, Let's try and raise this money so he could have some kind of future, you know, a normal life. It's taken a lot of love to get Holden to where he is today. A lot more love and a lot of money will be needed in the years to come. That's why the annual events that are planned to raise money for Holden are so important. 
Our first annual Heroes for Holden fundraiser is going to be held in Lake Charles, Louisiana on Sunday, June 5th of 2011 at the W.T. Burton Coliseum. The plans have begun to have a day of entertainment, a day of fun. And with the help of local and national level music, sports, and television stars, we'll have entertainment and fun for everyone. But at this time, we're asking for your help. And there are so many ways you can be a part of this wonderful event. We need persons that are in the entertainment and sports industry. We would love for you to come and be a part of this. Donate your time and your talent. Attend and participate in this event for us. We also need corporate sponsors. We're going to categorize those in three levels, platinum, gold, and silver. And all levels will enjoy VIP treatment during the event. Donations to the live and silent auction, items from art to memorabilia to trips, anything would be greatly appreciated. And of course, cash donations. We want to reach our necessary monetary goal to help Holden out. Holden deserves as much a normal life as possible with all this special medical needs to be met. So please, open your heart to this very worthy cause and you will truly be a hero for Holden. You know, if you ever get to meet him, uh, it, you know, it'd be easy to understand what I'm saying, how you steal your heart. Just such a wonderful, wonderful kid. You know who you are. I mean, you know what you could do to bring people out to help us help Holden.